So the goal is to establish one, at least, one community garden per ward. Uh, we've established one garden in the South Ward. We, this is the East Ward Garden. And we have two additional gardens that we're anticipating to, uh, to grow and facilitate. We're looking to do it on municipally owned property so that it's protected and we can make sure that at least it's preserved for the time. The next big exciting project in Dr. Griffin and I have been talking about, and I'm writing it right now, is the training program. Yes. We're okay. going to bring young adults, youth, and senior citizens together and have these training sessions around aquaponics, hydroponics, yes. health and wellness, and the likes. Right, because that was a part of the, the goal as well, to make sure that we were building the skills of the residents. We know that we have a lot of residents that are interested in gardening and some are even maintaining their own home gardens but they're always desiring more information and so we're using the gardens also as a tool to increase and, and increase their educational knowledge about gardening and then we will work towards the greenhouse and the establishment of the hydroponic farm and we'll be able to have a population that's already educated and knowledgeable about gardening to support that. where I see beautiful landscape lawns on a regular basis and flowers and things of that nature. And it started to really bother me that we didn't have enough of that around here. And to see our kids, I knew that they needed that.